Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to talk about Crow's gadgets and star powers. Now we're going to break down Crow's newest gadget coming in a few days and we're also going to break down Crow's original gadget and both of Crow's star powers. Then I'm going to rank them all and talk about the best build for Crow. In other words, the best gadget and star power for Crow that is most worth saving your gold for. I know brawler build is complete without talking about their best skin, so we'll be ranking those as well. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, which I don't normally ask people to do, but also make sure you watch the end of the video because if it does well, I'm going to be doing similar videos like this one for the next nine gadgets that are going to be released over the next 10 weeks. Crow's second gadget, slowing toxin, three uses per match. When Crow uses this ability, all currently poisoned enemies are slowed. Now the green poison effect on them like overrules the blue slowdown effect, so they'll stay green if they're continued to be poisoned, but you'll actually see little blue slowdown arrows so that you know that they are slowed, and of course they're also going to be slowed, so it's gonna be pretty obvious. Now Crow's gadget slow is a bit shorter than most other slows in the game. Ems' super lasts the longest of five seconds, Spike's super and Barley's gadget have a slow of four seconds, B's super and Jesse's gadget have a slow of three seconds, while Crow's gadget is the shortest slow duration at 2.5 seconds. This doesn't mean that it's the worst slow though. While all of those other slows are limited by certain locations, Crow's slow has a much larger potential range and can be easily used to slow multiple targets by quickly poisoning three enemies in three separate locations and then activating his gadget to slow them no matter where they are. And that slow might be all that your team needs to quickly take out a couple of enemy players. It also might be what Crow needs to escape an enemy or even to chase someone down for the kill. Now let's break down Crow's first gadget as well as his other star powers and then I'm going to rank them and talk about his best build. Crow's first gadget, Defense Booster two times per match. When Crow activates this ability, Crow shields 60% of incoming damage for three seconds. This is an extremely strong shield. Most other brawlers that have a shield ability have a shield of 30%, and that was actually nerfed down from 40% because it was too strong at 40%. With a 60% shield, Crow goes from being able to receive 3,360 damage before dying to surviving up to 8,400 damage in three seconds. Very few brawlers are able to burst that kind of health down in three seconds unless they already have a supercharged, which is what makes this gadget incredibly strong in 1v1 situations. This is a big reason why it can only be used two times per match. Crow's first star power extra toxic. With this star power, enemies who are poisoned deal 20% less damage. This includes against Crow, against Crow's teammates, or even against other enemies in a showdown situation. Obviously, this doesn't act like a shield, but if Crow is facing an enemy who is poisoned with his star power, Crow's survivability increases by 20% because they need to deal more damage to take him out. So in a way, this is like a 20% shield for Crow, which means that it's like Crow's HP increases from 3,360 to 4,200 when Crow is facing a poisoned enemy. I know that might not sound like a lot, but that means that 19 of the 38 brawlers would require one more ammo to take Crow out in a 1v1 situation. That is half of the brawlers requiring one more ammo to take Crow out, which is crazy good. What's really cool about this ability is that it doesn't just last three seconds, it will last as long as they are poisoned, and it benefits teammates as well, which is why this is such a good star power. Crow's second star power. Carry and Crow. With this star power, Crow deals an additional 120 damage with his attack and super to targets that are at half health or lower. You'll know if they are below half health because their HP bars will turn pink for you. Now the way that the damage is applied is a little bit confusing. Now let's say an enemy is above 50%, but Crow hits them with one attack that has three daggers worth of damage, and one of the daggers is all that is needed for that brawler to get below 50%. In that situation, that first dagger would not apply the additional damage, but the other two would apply the additional damage damage, as well as the poison that would last afterward. Now, if poison gets a target below 50%, the remaining ticks of poison will just be normal. But if poison is applied to a target below 50%, each tick of poison will deal an additional 30 damage as well. What this means is that if a target is below 50% and Crow hits them with one complete attack, you'll deal an additional 120 for each of the three daggers and another 120 for the poison, which means an additional total of 480 damage. That is a 27% buff to Crow's damage, which is very significant. Now, I know that this isn't exactly how it works out, but I like to view this star power as like a 13% buff to his attack damage because it's applied to 50% of the health. It's not exactly how it works out, but you guys get the idea. Even then though, 13%, that is a significant increase in damage and could very well be all that Crow needs to finish off an important target. Now we're gonna go ahead and compare Crow's two gadgets against each other and Crow's two star powers against each other. Then we're gonna talk about skins. Then I'm gonna give you my recommendation for the ultimate Crow build. When it comes to Crow's gadgets, I think that it's 
distinction of when you want to use each one is pretty clear. Defense Booster is the much better choice in a 1v1 situation or in Showdown, where staying alive is so important. He can use it to super onto nearly any target and take them out unscathed, and that makes it super deadly. There is the argument that it can only be used two times per match, while the slowing toxin can be used three times per match, but I think in a 1v1 situation or in Solo Showdown, Defense Booster is the best gadget to use. That doesn't mean that slowing toxin is bad though. In fact, I think that slowing toxin is the better gadget to use in any other mode than Showdown most of the time. Defense Booster could be better in Gem Grab if Crow needed to like swoop in, kill a Gem Carrier, and then swoop on out. But even then, being able to use a Slowing Toxin on a Gem Carrier in a team fight would most likely kill them as well. But the strength in Slowing Toxin is that it can be used to slow multiple targets at once and who are also very far away from each other, which will allow Crow and his teammates to take them out very easily. And the fact that Crow can use it two times per match makes it a little bit more consistent. I think that Defense Booster and Slowing Toxin are both A tier gadgets, but I'm going to talk about which one I think is the best if you had to pick between the two when I cover Crow's best build. When it comes to Crow's star powers, which one is better isn't so obvious. And the reason why is because people see the effect of Carry and Crow much more clearly than they see the effect of Extra Toxic. The enemy health bar decreases and it's a clear indicator of the benefit of the star power. Whereas with Extra Toxic, it's harder to tell that it's providing value because most players don't actually have all the 1v1 interactions memorized. In my opinion though, Extra Toxic is definitely the better star power in most situations. Even in Bounty or Showdown, where people typically try to get killed, it's actually better for you to survive than it is for you to get a kill and 20% damage reduction against all enemies is a huge benefit over increased damage only after an enemy is below 50%. Carrion Crow is a solid star power. It's A tier in my opinion and it's really good in some situations but Extra Toxic is an S tier star power and is good for team fights as well as 1v1 situations. As for the best gadget and star power that you're going to want to use, it's going to depend on the mode that you're playing. I think that Crow's Slowing Toxin gadget and extra toxic star power is better for 3v3 modes where you're more likely to have team fights. In these modes, Crow can reduce the enemy team's damage by keeping them all poisoned as frequently as possible, and when the team has an opportunity to get some kills, you can activate slowing toxin to make it so that the enemy is an easy target for everyone to just auto-aim on. But in solo and duo showdown, I absolutely think that the best Crow build is with his defense booster gadget with his extra toxic star power. When these two abilities are paired with each other, Crow is nearly unkillable. If an enemy deals 20% less damage because of extra toxic and Crow uses his defense booster to decrease damage by 60%, in a way it's kind of like Crow has 10.5 thousand health, which is crazy hard to get rid of in 3 seconds. This combo can be used as like an ultimate defense for Crow if he's in a really tough situation, or it can be used to get a kill with very little risk. And then of course there's no harder flex than using this ability on the last surviving enemy because they're going to have to have a lot of power cues if they're going to be able to take you out. Now what if you can only choose between one star power and one gadget? Obviously you should go for the extra toxic star power, but as for Crow's gadgets, I think that you'd be better off going for his defense booster gadget. It's not really ideal for 3v3 modes, but Crow's not actually very good in 3v3 modes anyway, and it's still actually a really solid combo. Crow is best played in showdown, and that's where you should be pushing him most of the time, which is why I recommend the defense booster gadget. I'm actually really curious to see if the slowing toxic gadget makes it so that Crow's a little bit better in some of the 3v3 modes, but even if he does become a little bit more viable, I highly doubt it's going to make him a competitive option. And of course, no brawler build is complete without talking about the best skins. This is actually really tough to decide with Crow because of his recent remodel. I obviously love his base skin, but that's by far the least exciting out of all of his skins. It did get a really cool remodel, and as far as the base models go, it's one of my favorite favorites, but it's simply not as cool as Crow's other skins. Next, I actually think is Mecha Crow. Uh, it's really cool. It's certainly one of my favorite skins, but there's a reason why so few people actually buy it. It costs 300 gems and you can just get Night Mecha Crow with star points that is like basically the same. And some people will, will even argue that Night Mecha Crow looks even cooler than regular Mecha Crow. And it's actually kind of funny because I'm going to be ranking this 300 gem skin as less than White Crow, which costs 80 gems. White Crow looks super incredible. It is so much better than it used to be. And in terms of 
value for your gems, this is, in my opinion, one of the best 80 gem skins out there. Now, I think that a lot of people are going to be rocking White Crow for the next while because it's new and exciting, but I think that Night Mecha Crow is actually a cooler skin. This color scheme is so epic looking, and it's actually pretty easy to unlock if you save up your star points for it. Now, for the last two skins, it was really difficult for me to decide between Phoenix Crow and Gold Mecha Crow, but I do think that next is Phoenix Crow. This skin is so cool. It was with the first 300 gem skin, and in a way, it kind of like revolutionized the quality of skins that Supercell is putting into the game. This is going to always be one of my absolute favorite skins of all time because of its particle, particle effects and also just the quality of the skin overall. But I do think that the best skin for Crow is Gold Mecha Crow. This skin is the ultimate flex. It costs 50,000 star points, which means that you have to be a long-term player and actively play the game a lot in order to unlock it. It looks super cool. It shows off your long-term dedication to the game. And for a lot of people, it's also a symbol of the player's skill. It's also one of the rarest skins in the game, which adds to its value. So this is Crow's ultimate build. Gold Mecha Crow, defense booster gadget, extra toxic star power. Let me know in the comment section if you guys disagree at all. I am very curious to see what you think about the format of this video, so please let me know. If this is something that you would like me to do for the rest of the gadgets being released over the next 10, 10 weeks, I really do need to know that. If this video does well in terms of like view counts, likes, viewer duration, then I'm absolutely going to do it because I love talking about this type of stuff. But if the video does poorly, I just can't justify doing it for future new gadgets. So if you like it, then share it with your friends, like the video, tell me in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Use code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. And for now, guys, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.